Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel where we talk about programming, career change, and working in tech. For those of you that clicked on this video, you're either considering a coding bootcamp or you're already enrolled in a coding bootcamp, and this video is here to help you avoid the mistakes that others have made and make the most out of your bootcamp experience. I have come up with this list of mistakes based off my own prior bootcamp experience, as well as working as a bootcamp mentor for the last couple of years. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Mistake number one is not utilizing all your bootcamp resources to their full advantage. Most likely you paid a pretty penny to be enrolled into this bootcamp program, and you probably have some requirements in terms of coursework and assignments that you have to complete. However, most bootcamps have either one-on-one -on -one mentorship or office hours that typically aren't mandatory. And when these events aren't mandatory, you don't see too many people show up. Your excuse might be, I am spending a lot of time in the bootcamp already, I don't have the time to attend this. Or you can simply say, I don't have enough questions to ask, I don't know what to ask. Let me stop you right there. You have plenty to ask, and so you should be taking full advantage of this as much as you can because you're never gonna get this time back after the bootcamp with the instructor. The second mistake that I see people in bootcamp make all the time is miss class. And you might be like, this is such a no brainer. Like why would people do this? Because a lot of people think that they have the ability to catch up and they underestimate the fact that bootcamp moves really fast. A lot of bootcamp programs are either three or six months long. There's a very short period of time and every single class in a day is packed with information. So even if you miss a couple hours, it can make a huge difference because that time that you require to catch up is a time additional to the curriculum. And all of a sudden you're behind for the rest of the course. So if you're missing class, you're doing yourself a huge disfavor. Now I understand that life happens, we have emergencies come up, but when you're sitting down and planning on going to this boot camp, you need to look and make sure that you don't have any major events that are gonna take time away from your boot camp program. You are truly the only person that can determine where your priorities lie, so make sure that you're planning your time accordingly and know how serious missing class can impact the rest of your boot camp. Mistake number three is not asking enough questions or not asking questions at all. This one is incredibly common and it a lot of times comes from like a professor in the class talking about something and nobody is asking questions so you might assume, well, everybody gets it. Maybe I just don't get it. Probably you're not the only one. Other people probably also aren't speaking up. So by you stepping up and asking a question, you're actually probably gonna help at least a couple people. Remember, your goal is to be fully prepared for getting a job after your boot camp. So you wanna make sure that you understand everything that you're doing and you don't wanna have confusion. So you better ask those questions. Mistake number four, isolating yourself and comparing yourself to others. I'm gonna tell you to stop comparing yourself to others. And I know that's really easily said and really challenging to do because we always compare ourselves to others. Especially in bootcamp, it's really easy because you have those couple students that are excelling in everything, they finish projects early, and it just feels like they just easily get everything. And then immediately you're like, I'm not like them. And you start to compare. I know it happens. So I'm gonna challenge you that every time you start to compare yourself to those kids in the class, what you're gonna do is you're going to reach out to them and you're gonna ask them a question or you're gonna ask them to help you because maybe you haven't finished your project, but they have. And so you can ask for their help and you're going to learn a lot from them. And that brings me to my next point is you don't wanna isolate yourself in a bootcamp program. You wanna make sure that you're working with others and that you're learning from others. That means that if you don't understand something, reach out to your classmates. Or if you see someone else struggling, help them out. By helping someone out with their problems, you are most likely also helping yourself because you're helping solidify those concepts in your brain. Okay, we are on to concept number five, and this one is by far the most important one. You need to remember your ultimate goal. For most of you, the ultimate goal with the bootcamp is to get a job, right? You're not just doing the bootcamp to do the bootcamp. You wanna change careers. Just graduating bootcamp and getting a shiny certificate? Where does that get you? So until you have that job, you haven't achieved your goal. And this is where planning becomes so important. You should start thinking about the job that you're going to have the day you start the bootcamp, not two weeks before you graduate. 
you should start doing the research of, okay, in the syllabus, at what point have I learned enough skills to where I could be marketable on the job market? Then you can look at job posts and see what is relevant in the area that you currently want to live in. These are all things that you need to start consider ahead of time. I find a lot of students get caught up with assignment grades, with how difficult a boot camp is, and sometimes they forget about that main goal. Your grades are, in the grand scheme of things, not gonna matter. It's you solidifying those concepts, you gaining the right skill set, and getting that job. The better you plan for exactly what you're going to do, the more prepared you are actually gonna be to graduate the bootcamp and get that job. Hopefully hearing this information is really going to help you with your bootcamp experience and not making those same mistakes. If you have any other mistakes that you personally feel like you made during your bootcamp experience, feel free to leave them down in the comments, as well as any other questions that you have related to bootcamp. In my next video, I'm actually going to be talking about how to choose a good coding bootcamp. So if you want to hear about that, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to like this video. Thank you and see you guys next time.